Hello everybody, I'm Spark249, welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Kingsley's Adventure. And I'm going to start this episode off by remembering what Kingsley said at the very end of that last episode about how I should go back to Sea Town. Now I haven't got a clue what is waiting in Sea Town, and I possibly can't even remember which direction to go in. Money! Need as many lives as I can get in this game. Okay, right. Is this the right way? It was in the library, was it not? I think. I hope. Treasure chest! This is no fall damage in this game. Or if there is, I don't think I've fallen far enough to be damaged by it, but... Oh well. Now where the heck... Ah. Here's the foxhole. In we go. Yes, over, right. Just hurry up about it. Save successful. Yay. There we are. Okay, now what is waiting for me here? Were you here before? Many, many thanks. I can provide for Mrs. Smith and the little one once more. Oh, don't mention it, but what should we do about Rex? I don't know, maybe someone strong enough could pull the anchor towards the beach? Someone with the strength of a true knight, perhaps? What anchor? Oh, this anchor. How do I grab anchor? Buttons? No? Maybe I can't do it yet? Hello. I heard the good news. Gallagher won't be bothering us ever again. Thank you, Kingsley. What can I do then? Is there something inside the house? Barrels, which I assume are not smashable. You weren't here a second ago, were you? Oh, you're the mother. Oh, there's a little baby here. Uh, I see you there. Aha! There's something underneath this. Oh, it's a pressure plate. What the heck? Okay, this house makes no architectural sense in the slightest. <gasps> treasure! Real treasure, not fake treasure! Ooh, an extra life. Well, that was certainly worth it. I'm glad I came in here. I wonder if all the houses have similar secrets. I doubt it. Let me just use first person for a second. Is this house... No, it's not really that strangely shaped. How odd. Now that Gallagher's gone, I really am the fiercest pirate around. Kind of. Okay. Makes you happy. Bucket and spade. I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing in Sea Town. I have gloves. There's Briny Jim. You know, I'll come back to Sea Town later. I think I'm supposed to go and talk to the King and Queen anyway. I just don't want to spend forever looking around Sea Town. I'll be back once I'm at the King and Queen. Well, here I am. Do you have anything new to say to me? King Marius, look, I now have a true knight sword and true knight gloves. Hold on, Kingsley, keep up the good work. Kingsley, listen carefully. 
Go to Rosary Village. Something very strange has happened to the villagers. You must help them. Rosary Village is where the beer monks okay, live. I wonder if it has anything to do with their root beer. Probably. Go to Rosary Village through the foxhole in Carrot Castle Grounds. When you get there, speak to the mayor. There was supposed to be a full stop at the end of that, I think. Wrong way. Well, at least I have three weapons now. A dagger, an axe, and an actual sword, as opposed to that puny dagger I was using. So, are they going to open in a clockwise fashion, I'm assuming? There can't be that many of them, then. Oh, maybe this one's thinner. This section is thinner than that last one, so maybe there are more. Okay, so let's go into Rosary Village, assuming that was this foxhole and I didn't jump down a completely unrelated one. I'm getting more used to the tank controls in this game anyway, so... Sidestepping is saving me. <laughs> Are you one of those people who is really ill? It's a disaster. Everyone who drank the monk's root beer is really ill. Poisoned root beer? Interesting. I wouldn't mind so much if there was some left for me. The only sensible people are in Hera's coffee shop. Going to guide me towards this coffee shop, or... Do I just have to guess? This house. When you say really ill... Ooh, a treasure chest. Yep, there's booze everywhere. I've already spoken to you. I do not need a reminder every time I walk past, thank you. Oh, that's a giant tankard. So I'm assuming this is a pub or a tavern. Am I right? Oh no, this is Hera's coffee shop. I'm assuming you're Hera? You're looking remarkably well, considering. If it wasn't for my coffee, we'd be crazy like the rest of them. Take this coffee cup on the house. Thanks, this will probably be useful. I just have a random cup of coffee now. Good day, citizen. Do you find that if you drink five cups of coffee, yeah, then you drink seven more cups of coffee, that your head really hurts? Can you explain it? <laughs> I wouldn't know, I've never drunk that much coffee, sir. Well, I just did, and let me tell you, my head wants to explode. We'll put down the coffee then. Hello, sir. Greetings, you found the best coffee shop in the Fruit Kingdom. Possibly the only one as well. Is that all you had to say to me? Okay. Well, I've got a cup of coffee. What am I going to do with said cup of coffee? Is this a cure? Am I supposed to give it to someone? Let's follow this winding path. You look ill. Oh, I get it. Give him the coffee to wake him up. Looks like you need a strong cup of coffee. Have this. Uh, coffee? Mmm, thanks. I urgently need to see the mayor. Can you let me in now? I'll unlock the door. You may enter. As usual, just in any old video game, bribe the guards and you're in. Hello, mayor, who looks inexplicably like Robin Hood. Hello, I'm Kingsley, apprentice true knight. I've been sent by the king and queen to find out who poisoned the monk's root beer. Are you the mayor? Ah, oh, no need to shout. My head is really thumping. Sorry, I just wanted to find out how to get into the abbey. Oh yeah, you'll need the password. Uh, I remember. The root beer bottles are made of honey. Oh, he's written it down for me. I don't actually need to remember it. But now where? Camera, play nice. Hello. I cannot let you in unless you know the password. The password is the root beer bottles are made of honey. You may pass. Good day. See, any person nearby could have heard that and just snuck in now. Security is rather lax. Hello there, young fox. How may I help you? Your root beer is poisoned and has made all the villagers ill. Sid said you would be able to help. Hmm, you had better speak to Abbot Harry. He'll be in the chapel to your right. So, standing about 20 feet away. 
Hello, are you alright? You seem a little shaky. Have you had any root beer? Of course not. We beer monks aren't allowed to drink the root beer. It's against the rules. Oh, okay. An organ? Welcome, my son. What can I do for you? Apparently, your root beer has been poisoned and is making the villagers really silly. I'm here to get an antidote for them. Poison, you say? My word. Well, to make an antidote, you'll have to collect the three herbs that grow in the catacombs below the abbey. How do I get into the catacombs? The entrance will only open while the brewing machinery is in operation. Here's the key. Use it on the control box in the brewing room to turn it on. A grape key. Oh. Give me. There we are. Well, let's find this... Okay, I'll just push it here. And then that gate I only looked at... Is this on a timer? I don't want to be locked down in what they've described as catacombs. Isn't this a brewery? Why do they need catacombs? Is that a rhinoceros beetle? Ooh, money. A scythe? That looks inexplicably like soul sand from Minecraft. Oh, okay, that's a loading door. Why not? Oh, it locked behind me even better. Now where? Treasure chest. Why are you giving me three sets of hearts? That's that's making me more paranoid than anything. Okay. Hmm? There we are. I don't get where I'm supposed to be going. There's loading doors everywhere. Oh, there's one of the herbs. Defeated. Ow! There we go. Now. Dang. Okay. It's trapped against a corner. And I'm going to die. At least he dropped health. That was friendly of him. Now what? This thing? I can only assume... Ah, uh, it's got a picture of a key on it, and there's a picture of a key in the centre of the room. Okay. Okay, now what? Oh, there's more than one. Ah. Okay. Do they have to be on certain ones? Or... I'm going to guess they do, but I'm just going to hope they don't. Because then I don't need to rearrange all these stupid things. Oh no, I'm good. Oh, well, no, wait. That one likes it. The other two don't. Blast. Okay, then. Now, just a lot of pushing and pulling. It feels like I'm playing Zelda. He is very, very strong. I mean, these, these 
I, I can only assume they're small crypts or something, some sort of burial device. He's pushing them around like they're nothing. This had better work. Because this has just become monotonous. Okay, nearly there. There we go. Last one, put this on the pressure plate and we should be done here. So much security for a single plant. Which looks like a Lego piece, I might add. Is this crypt going to seal behind me now? Because that'll be helpful if it does. Thank you! See? Okay, so... Does that mean this way we'll have another one? No. Oh yes, there it is. It's purple. Whoa! Was that a teleport or did a new one just spawn? Oh, they are everywhere. These bones I'm standing on. Oh dear. What am I supposed to be doing? going to guess I'm I'm going to have a stab in the dark and say I'm not supposed to be in this one yet or worst comes to worst I'll just do that one last okay there's the one which actually looks different there's a rather friendly monkey and he's dead and let's get some more money why not Oh no, you're an exploding one. That's the second one of those things I've encountered. Now, are you going to detonate as well, or are you going to play nice? Oh good, I need health. Okay, you've got a skull on you. Okay, you're not an omen of things to... Ooh, hello, colours. Um... Okay, what am I supposed to be doing with them? They're buttons. Hmm? There we go. And you, sir, are dead. Wonderful. Now what? Am I supposed to have barrels on these switches or off these switches? I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing. Come on. You're yellow. So what happens when I click these things? Let's click the red one. The red has got a number two on it. The yellow, oh, they're all numbers. Pink, red. Blue, they're Roman numerals. Pink, red, blue, yellow. Is that it? Pink, red, bl blue, yellow. 
And there's the pinky ready one. Yoink. One more to get then. One more puzzle to solve. See, originally I just thought those things were coloured lamps on the floor. Uh, I obviously wasn't actually looking at them. Jump. Let's try it again, but with less failure. I said less failure. Kingsley, I'm pretty sure you're trying to get yourself killed at this point. Ooh, more life. How useful. How are you still alive? Die. There we are. Oh, they're respawning. Aha. Let me guess. I stand on you, another one comes up. How did I guess that? And then I have to sumo wrestle with each of these in turn. Is it even possible to make that jump? Okay, right, we're halfway there then. Two more jumps. And two... Well, one more dealing with these annoying things. Ow. Okay, right, one last simple jump. And then probably having to get back as well. Shortcut. Yeah, I'm on nearly there. Dang it, Kingsley, jump. You're supposed to be agile. That's all three. Now let's get out of these wretched catacombs and back to a more civilized place. Brother Tim, what are you doing down here? Are you the bad guy? I knew you'd find me out eventually. <laughs> You're a bat. I am Clarence Darklord Jr., apprentice demon. I will defeat you and gain my promotion. Alright, demon, show me what you've got. Oh, you can fly. Wonderful. This can only mean good things. Ow. Okay, let me guess. Block this. That wasn't too hard to figure out, so ow, that's hard to dodge. But if I block that, I can stu I can stun him and get a free hit in. Okay, I can't block the so the sonar. Come on, stop doing sonar. And actually try to attack me. There we are. Wow, your voice is annoying. Help, I'm hurt. I'm only a junior demon trying to get a job. Oh well, time to go home. Well, that didn't take too long. Now let's get out of these catacombs. Funny, I don't remember you. Well, I died. Wonderful. Where do I respawn? Just as I entered the room. Okay, then, well, enough with the fighting. More with the dodging and the running and the not getting squashed. Yay, someone opened the secret door for me. Harry, I have the three herbs. Oh, we're on first name terms. 
Very good. I'll mix them into the root beer. Before you know it, the villagers will all be feeling fine again. I also found out who the culprit was. Brother Tim, the novice. He was really Clarence Darklord Jr., an apprentice demon. Goodness, Clarence again? Here, have these boots as a reward, and you deserve this crossbow as well. You'll need some arrows for it, though. Crossbows don't use arrows, do they? Wow, true knight boots, in my size too. And nice weapon. Thanks, Harry. Well, I'm getting there. Slowly amassing my small armament. Let's get out of here. I do only have five shots with that. That's a dagger. No, that's a sword. Okay. Well, I only have five shots with the crossbow currently, so I'm going to need more ammo for it. And where I find more ammo... Oh, sorry, no one is allowed into the abbey because the monks are busy making a fresh batch of root beer. I wasn't trying to, I've just left the abbey. You've just seen me walk out of the door. Where's the foxhole? There's the foxhole. Oh. Uh, let's do that again, but with less failure. There we are. Well, that was a fun little mission. I must say, I liked that better than I did the whole Snuff the Dragon level. For a start, it was a lot shorter. But yeah. That was fun. And uh, like I said, we're slowly amassing a full suit of True Knight equipment for Kingsley. And there doesn't seem to be too many gates left. There's one here. There's one there. There might be two, three more maybe. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I'm Spark249. Have fun.